Okay, it's time for breakfast. So this is what we're gonna have. See, cutting back. Uh, I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. I wanted to thank Sandra Skinner who gave me the greatest inspirational quote book. I got my quote from there today. You may be disappro you may be disappointed if you fail, but you are doomed if you don't try. Uh, 23 smart points zero for my egg, banana. Oh, I forgot to put my banana on my plate. Tea and water. Uh, grapefruit, three points for my Thomas's multi-green muffin, and three points for a tablespoon of peanut butter. Six points. Let's go get the banana over here. I gotta fill up my containers here. Oh, I do find that if you put a piece of saran wrap over the top of your bananas, they stay fresher longer. <coughs> so. My last little one, I'm just going to wrap this up and put it back. And it'll stay fresher. So there's my breakfast. Well, as you can see, I've done this in a little different order today. Um, I got up this morning and I did a video earlier about um, 10 ways to start your day to lose weight or something like that. I even forgot the name of the title. Let me see. I wrote it down. I thought I wrote it down. Let me see. Maybe I didn't. No, I didn't write it down. Oh, wait a minute. It's this book. I got too many notebooks. Oh, 10 morning habits that'll help you lose weight. It shows you how far, how far back my mind thinks. I can go back 20, 30 years and tell you something, but something that I did just a couple hours ago, forget it. Forget it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Um, over at Laney's Life, she said that it's cold in where she lives over in Massachusetts. And I remember that my uncle always used to say, it's wicked cold, wicked cold. That's their favorite line in the Northeast there, wicked, it's wicked cold. <laughs> so every time I hear anybody say it was wicked, I always think of my Uncle Jim, who's passed, but I'll always remember that. And he'll always say, unbelievable. That was another thing he always said, unbelievable, it's wicked cold here. <laughs> so anyway, um... My plan for today, you know what is funny is because I was watching, or was I watching Cassandra over at Divine Vegan Journey Girl, or was she making a comment? I think she was, oh, she was making a comment, um, how, um, it, because it's cold here in the Midwest, really cold, really up north, more, more north than west, Midwest, but, um, she was saying how she's going to be trapped in the house, and that when she's in the house, she wants to eat more. I, I can totally relate. The funny thing is, like yesterday and today and tomorrow too, because it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow. Uh, I don't leave the house. I left this morning. No, I didn't leave this morning. I didn't go out yesterday to get my mail because uh, it was too too. The snow was too deep, and I didn't want to leave footprints because it's just easier when Jim wants to snow blow, uh, use the snow blower to blow the snow off. So I thought I'd wait, and then it got late, and I thought, eh, I'll just get it in the morning. So I went out this morning about 10 o'clock to get my mail, and it was cold. And I'm thinking, you know what, it's not that cold. I think I could go for a walk. And then I looked at the sidewalks and they were kind of icy. And I thought, no, it wouldn't have been the cold. It would have been, you know, I'll see later on, maybe later on in the day. And then about uh, 2 o'clock, I thought, you know, I'm going to go out and get my mail for today. And so I went out to get my mail for today. And, oh, my gosh, it was so cold. <laughs> it was There was no way I was even going to think about even going for a walk. Because I thought, no, it is just way too cold. But um, getting back to Cassandra. You know what, Cassandra? You know how I you know how I wander. You know how my mind wanders. Um, so I, I knew that I wasn't even going anywhere. And just the fact that I knew I was trapped in the house, trapped, I'm telling you, trapped in the house, um, it, it makes that I want to eat more. And it's so silly because I had my berries, I had my fruit, I have my bread, my milk, I have I have everything I need. I even have two Suzy Q's left. And I want to thank everybody for their suggestions. I think I am I only have two left. I'm going to cut them in half and just eat half for like seven points. I can do that. I can do that. Uh, I'm not going to freeze them because if you followed me for a while, you know I'll need a frozen cake. So that's not going to deter me. <laughs> that's not going to stop me in any way, shape, or form. But um, I'm going to um, cut them in half and just eat half. And then maybe eat them over two days. It'll be easier that way for me. But anyway, we'll see. And then, um, but it was just the fact that I, I was trapped in the house, and it made me want to eat, but I did really well. I didn't eat yesterday, and so far today I've only had my breakfast. And that was, you know what, I really do put too much food on a plate. Even when I was carrying it back 
because um, I, I eat back here when I watch TV. And I know you're supposed to sit at the table, blah, blah, blah. It's just easier, blah, blah, blah. I know all of that. And, I, you know, but I don't. I sit in the chair and I watch TV and I eat, which I know is mindless eating. I know that. Another thing I got to break, another habit I got to break. But anyway, as I was walking back carrying my plate, looking at it, and I'm thinking, oh, this is sad. There's hardly any food on this plate. But you know what? When I ate it, because I had an egg, I had my English muffin with my tablespoon of peanut butter, and I had my banana and my grapefruit. I was more than full. And I'm not even hungry for lunch yet. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to wait till dinner and eat a normal dinner. I, I don't know. I might eat lunch. You never know. It's still early. But... Uh, it's just, uh, it's all in the mindset. It really is because just the fact that I think I'm trapped. I'm trapped like an animal. I um, have a fireplace if we lose our heat, but unfortunately I have a gas fireplace. But usually you use the electric, lose the electricity. And Jim knows how to start it. You know, like it's an electric start, but Jim knows how to start it. So that'll, that'll work out for me good. But um, it's just cold and then we're supposed to get some more snow we had a little bit of snow today maybe a half an inch of that but Barbara Runnels told me that it was snowing in Mississippi Mississippi that's just that just doesn't seem normal I know that everybody thinks global warming means that you know the planet's getting warmer but it really means that it affects your weather in so many different ways whether it's too hot or too cold it's just all of these things but uh, we had a birthday oh, I'm sorry I got an itchy nose um, Chelsea's birthday was yesterday so Chelsea gets a song, I forgot, I forgot. Happy birthday to, oh no, happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Chelsea. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Sorry, I missed it. I don't know, did I sing to anybody yesterday? I think I did. I don't remember. That was yesterday. They asked me something from a while ago. If it says Libby's, Libby's, Libby's on the label, 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 you will like it, like it, like it on your table, table, table. It says Libby's, Libby's, Libby's on your label, label, label. Someone challenged me. I forget. Let me see who it is. I'm going to, once again, it was just the other day. Let me look to see who it was. It was Michelle Zerber. The, the silly things that are taking up space in my head. It's like, ah, there's just so much stuff going on and... It's like they bump into each other and they go, should we stay or should we leave? And then they'll say, you know, I'm pretty useless information. Why don't we stay? And oh, okay. But then something that'll be like really important, they'll say, you know what? Let's just leave. Leave it to someone else. That's what that's what goes on in my head. It really does. It really, really, truly does. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, I also had another birthday. I told you that if you're a new subscriber and this is your month and I've missed your birthday, let me know. And Tess from Tess's Weight Loss... Do, no, wait a minute. Tess, weight loss doing Weight Watchers with calorie counting to T-O-O. -O. Um, it was her birthday. Did I write it down? Because I don't think I wrote what day her birthday was. I'm going to have to go back in the comments and look because I want to put it in my birthday calendar. She's still going to get a song. I think she said it was the 15th. But happy birthday to you. Oh, happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated. Today is test. Yesterday, well, blah, 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 blah. you know, I should just edit it out, but you know what? You know, I'm not going to do that. You just know. That's just not who I am. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday to you. Happy belated birthday, dear Tess. I hope that's your name. Happy belated birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Okay, anybody else, you've only got a couple more days because today's the 29th. Two more days left in the month. you got to let me know. And let's see if I wrote something else down. Hmm, I thought... Oh, Joan, Joan Johnson said that she did go over to Anita's at Chit Chat Paddywhack, uh, uh, what do you call it, video about the scale. And she did order it and she got 35% off. I'll look to see if I can find that video. And if I do find it, look in my info box down below. And I'll put a link to Anita's channel so you can go over and watch the video and then find out what the discount was and then try it because I really do like the scale and uh, you can put things on your phone and all that and it really it'll help you out a lot but I, I'm not tech savvy I, I you know what I'm sure you're sick of hearing that but uh, I went and watched a, a video on the uh, Canva app I still can't figure it out I did do one for my earlier video the uh, I forgot the name of it again the 10 most important habits that help you lose weight. 
in the morning. The, the 10 morning habits that help you lose weight. Anyway, I did that one this morning watching the tutorial video. Not my best work, but you know what? Um, it toes in the water. Toes in the water. Learning a little bit at a time. So anyway, um, oh, that was another thing. Suzanne um, goes on this app called Ultimate Food Value Diary. And she said that she doesn't like the freestyle, but she liked the points. I think it was the points plus, or maybe it was the smart points. You'd have to check out the app. But it lists all the old points values. So if somebody wanted to do that, um, I am leaning more towards next week because little little steps, baby steps, baby steps for me. Um, maybe next week count my calories. But this week I'm just focusing on smaller meals. And so far, I think I'm doing pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. So uh, that's it for now. That's all, folks. But not for now. Just for now. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, I didn't eat lunch, so I'm going to have my dinner now. And I measured out my stove top. Uh, 17 points I had. 5 points for my baked potato. 3 points for my 2 tablespoons of sour cream. Uh, 5 points for my tablespoon of butter. 2 points for my chicken. I use Italian dressing seasoning. That's why I count 2 points towards my chicken. Zero for my tea, water, broccoli, cauliflower, and must mushrooms, and three points for a quarter cup of stove top. So it's 18 points. I went one point over. Did you tell them I didn't measure nothing? You want to tell them? I didn't measure nothing. Anything. That too. Well, that's going to do it for tonight. I'm going to... Um, usually I turn my thermostat down to 60 degrees at night. But uh, on the news tonight, they said that you should leave your thermostat at least at 70. <sighs> no. I'll probably leave mine at 67. That'll be my compromise. <laughs> um, just because you don't want your pipes to freeze and stuff. I'll just see how it is when I go to bed. Um, I usually turn the thermostat. Well, it's a programmable, programmable thermostat. And usually at 11 o'clock, it goes down to 60 degrees. And then by the time I go to bed, it's nice and comfy. <laughs> I just like it cold when I sleep, but uh, I don't want my pipes to freeze. So we went and we checked and uh, changed the filters on the furnace. And we went outside to make sure the vents were all clear of snow and ice so that, you know, the air can circulate. And we're ready to go. Ruts to go. Because uh, they've, Michigan has declared a state of emergency. I know Minnesota. I hear you. I hear you. This is normal for you. <laughs> But um, they they've claimed a state of emergency, and so I'll, there's everything. I'm I'm hoping our mail carriers aren't out there tomorrow because they they're in those little tiny little cars, and uh, or even if they're walking, I don't know. I don't understand why we have six day a week delivery. I think that Monday through Friday should be more than enough. And if anything's so important, it's going to come Saturday and Sunday. Just have it sent special delivery or something, and just have a few people out delivering it because think of the money we could save. I can wait till Monday for that bill. I really can. So i um, going to stay on track tomorrow. I feel pretty good about how I ate today. I only ate half of the piece of chicken because um, now you got me thinking I want some chicken for breakfast. So I'm going to have I'm gonna have the other half of the chicken breast tomorrow for breakfast with a hard-boiled egg. And um, for dinner, I think I'm going to have a, a taco, maybe a taco salad instead of using the wrap. And then for lunch... I haven't decided. I might have a half of a turkey sandwich because I do have some turkey in there. Although I'm having a turkey dinner on Thursday with all the fixings because we're doing Mary's birthday. Even though her birthday was last week. It just didn't work out for us to get together last week. So we'll see how it goes. That's it for tonight. So give this video a like, leave a comment, and share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the morning.